Hey guys, this is Tato Leong and in this video, I will show you 10 things that you should know about Earth Shaker. The tips in this video are made to help you guys become a better Shaker player. They are completely situational but applicable. If you have more creative ways to play Earth Shaker, kindly share it with the community in the comment section below. Enjoy! Number 1. Fisher Range Knowing the exact range of Fisher can assist you with fog or long range blocks. So make sure to turn on your range finder in your settings. This guy will die. Mango, mango. Good, good, good. Good. Number 2, Fisher Stun. Fisher can be a double edged sword at times when you accidentally save your opponents or trap your allies when you are just trying to do a simple stun. So, here are two simple guidelines to take note of. Number 1, it will be your position, and number 2, which side you want your opponents to be on. Number 3, Cliffing and Decliffing By using Fisher exactly on your target, you can change the position of your opponents or allies. Number 4, Wave Block When you're on the offlane, most people tend to block their own creeps to gain creep equilibrium. When you do this, the creep will meet at the middle of the lane even if both offlaner and safe laner block their creeps. However, if you block the opponent's creeps, your creeps will be killed under their tower and a double wave will be pushed against you which makes it safer for you to farm. Number 5, Echo Slam. Echo Slam's AoE is further than most people think. Unless you want to be able to stun with Aftershock, you don't really need to be too close to your opponents to do the damage with Echo Slam. Number 6, Aghanim Scepter. By overclicking Aghanim's Enchant Totem, your hero will tend to walk forward before flying to your desired position. So if you are looking to get to places as soon as possible, you have to click at the exact range to maximize efficiency. You can also double tap to do a normal totem. Number 7, True Strike. And yes, this is not an argument, it's a fact. Enchant Totem does have True Strike. Number 8, Combos. Ideally, you want to have your totem buffs before starting any combos, and trust me, this matters a lot. You have to understand that the whole world is not going to wait for your totem to cool down, so please activate your totem when you are 5 seconds away from the battle. Solo killing calls are not impossible with the shaker and here's the combo. Activate totem, blink, echo slam, fissure, hit him once, totem, and hit him again. If you do not have Echo Slam, hit Totem, Fisher from the Fog, Blink, hit him once, Totem, and hit him again. If you have Agonyms and you are looking to snipe heroes without Echo Slam and get out alive, you can Totem, Fisher, blink, hit him once, and throw them out. So weak. If you do not have time to pre totem, you can Fisher, throw them in, hit him once, and blink out. Are we still, are we staying here? Okay, we're staying. Thank you. 
Finally, you can create your own trap block by casting Fisher at a choke point and told him to block him off. Number 9. Effective Initiations Mastering maximum bling range is a huge part of being a shaker player. Sometimes you may overclick and end up not blinking far enough. There's a ward here also. Nice la, Datu. Hey, Doom, Doom is gone. When you have a hard time initiating, consider buying smokes or shadow blade. They will prevent your blink from being cancelled and your opponents won't see where you're blinking in from. Not there. Got him. Oh, eyes on me. Number 10. Be unpredictable. Sometimes, your opponents tend to understand your movements after a few initiations. So you want to be creative and mix up your initiating angles and hiding spots. You can even be sneakier with Agony Scepter. Hey, Okay. Nice. Good. Hey guys, thank you for staying to the end of the video. Do let me know which tip you find most helpful in the comments below. As always, if you enjoy my Dota 2 content, hit the like, subscribe and notification button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.